Hi guys, welcome to another video clip of uh, MrLopezClasses.com. Today we are going to talk about uh, the intake manifold and the exhaust manifold. Those are questions that uh, my followers ask me in, uh, in different platforms, uh, in different channels, or in my website. Remember, Mr. Lopez is an employee of a Marine Technical Training Academy. This is the academy. This is the umbrella. And now we have another channel. It's Aprendiendo con Mr. Lopez en Español. Todo este material en Español. Okay, today we are going to be concentrated in the intake manifold and the exhaust manifold. And we are going to understand what is the meaning of uh, the intake valves, the exhaust valves, and uh, what is the function of those elements in the combustion chamber. Okay, the intake mani to understand the intake manifold and the exhaust manifold is necessary to uh, explain uh, the four strokes. What is the meaning of uh, intake, compression, power, and exhaust in diesel and gasoline? both of them. For the two strokes, you need to check uh, my book, my book of diesel, my book of, of gasoline, the courses, the gasoline, diesel, transmission, enter in my website, www.mttedu.org, and you find a lot of material related with this. Okay, now the four strokes. Imagine the head. In the head, always, always you have valves, intake valves, exhaust, intake, exhaust. In each cylinder, intake valves and exhaust valves. How many intake valves, how many exhaust valves? Depend of the manufacturer. In some cases, one, one, two, and two, three, and three. That's, that's according with the manufacturer. In other episodes, I explain, in my opinion, what system is more efficient, with two valves, with three valves, with one valve. Okay. Later, in other episodes, you can see that analysis. All right. Uh, we are going to start with the first stroke. Intake, what is the meaning of a stroke? A stroke is the complete movement of the piston from, from top to the bottom or bottom to top. This is, this is a stroke. It's a complete movement, linear movement of the piston. This is a stroke. Okay, in one cycle, complete cycle, there are four strokes. Intake, compression, power, and exhaust. Yeah? The, the, the four strokes, intake, compression, power, and exhaust. We are going to analyze one per one. And we are going to imagine this is the head and those are the valves. Intake valves and exhaust valves. Okay, in intake, the piston is going down. The piston is going down. Ah, when the piston is going down, how, how much degrees is rotating at the crankshaft? Yes, 180 degrees. Okay, in intake, the piston is going down. The crankshaft rotates 180 degrees. And uh, what about the valve when the piston is going down? The, what valves are open? Only, only intake valves. Intake valve open, the piston is going down, and the cylinder is filled with air in diesel engines or with air and fuel in gasoline engines. Ah, okay, the piston is going down, the exhaust valves are closed, and the intake valves open. It's clear. The piston is going down, only the intake valves open and allow that the cylinder be filled with air in diesel or with air and fuel in gasoline engines. Ready, the piston reach the bottom. And what happened when, when the piston reach the bottom? Both valves close and the piston start to go up, 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 compressing in diesel, the air, the air, the air, the air. In gasoline, the mixture, the mixture, the mixture. Okay, uh, in compression, the piston is going up, the crankshaft rotate over 180 degrees because it's going up. And uh, what about the valves when the piston is going up during the compression? Both valves are closed, correct. Both valves are closed. Both valves are closed. And what happened, what happened just before the piston reached the top of the center, the top of the center? In diesel, the injector atomized the fuel. Just some degrees before, in, in diesel is around four, six degrees before, the top of the center in gasoline is uh, between 10 and 16 degrees before the piston reach the top of the center. In, in diesel, the injector inject the fuel. And what happened? What happened in that moment? In diesel, when the piston is going up, compress the air dramatically, dramatically. If the pressure is superior to 400 PSI and the temperature is around uh, 1100 degrees Fahrenheit, when the injector spray the fuel, atomize the fuel over there, in that moment, it produces the explosion. Okay, this is compression. 
in gasoline, when the piston is going up, up, compress the mixture, compress the mixture, and before the piston reach the top the center, the spark plug, spark, and ignite the mixture. All right, perfect. And now, what happened in that moment, in the moment of the explosion? The piston is sended down at higher speed because the power of the detonation. Ah, okay, in power struck, the piston is going down, the crankshaft rotate other 180 degrees. And uh, what about the valves in that moment, in the moment of the explosion? Stay open or stay closed? Yes, both of them stay closed. Both of them stay closed. Ah, and once again, the piston is in the bottom. And finally, the piston goes up again. Ah, what happened in the moment of the explosion? The cylinder is filled with gases, with the smoke, gases. And when the piston starts again going up, which valve open? The exhaust valve open. Exhaust valve open. What about the intake valve? The intake valve stay closed, and the piston is going up, and the crankshaft rotate other 180 degrees. In this direction, the crankshaft rotate other 180 degrees. Okay, those are the four strokes. It's clear, intake, compression, power, and exhaust. How many rotations in a complete cycle? Uh, rotation of the crankshaft. Yes, two rotations. Half, 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 and half, two rotation in a complete cycle. Uh, how many times the piston is in a top dead center in a complete cycle? One at the end of compression, and other one at the end of exhaust. Ah, two times. How many times the piston be in a bottom depth center? Uh, two. One at the end of power and other at the end of intake. Oh, wow. Two times in the bottom, two times on top. And we are going to analyze what, hap what happened uh, when the piston is in top the center with the valves. Remember, two times the piston is in top the center at the end of compression and at the end of exhaust. Oh, at the end of compression, both valves should be closed. And at the end of exhaust, exhaust valve open and intake valve closed. Ah, very, very important. Understand that one for other topic that I am going to explain later. Okay, those are the four strokes. And uh, the valves are located on the head and the intake manifold and the exhaust manifold are connected are communicated with the intake valves and the exhaust valve. For example, in this uh, 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 four Lehman engine uh, diesel, uh, this is the head, the intake manifold, this is the air filter, is connected with the intake valves. And the exhaust manifold here is connected with the exhaust valves. Uh, in this particular design, the intake manifold is in one side and the exhaust manifold in the other side of the head. Oh, what happened in this design? In this design, I have exhaust manifold here and intake manifold here. The intake manifold here and here connected with this and this valve, this and this valve, and the other valves connected with exhaust. The, ah, both intake and exhaust are located in the same size, in the same in the same side of the head. That's the design. Depend of the design. Okay. Now the million dollar question: Why I have a detonation, explosion uh, in the intake manifold. For example, if the engine is carbureted or naturally aspirated, I have detonation, flames, uh, and gases coming out through the intake manifold. What happened? What was the problem? Gases and detonation. Okay, gases are produced in power stroke. In power stroke, when the piston is going down. In power exhaust, the engine produce internally gases, detonation, and, uh, and flames. Okay, what happened if when in that moment, when the piston start to go down, the intake valve is in a couple of cylinders stay open a little? Yes, in that moment, when the piston is going down, the gases are produced, and if those valves, intake or ex intake valves, in that particular case, stay open a little, you see uh, through the carburetor, uh, through the air filter, gases coming out, and you see uh, a, a flame. Th that's clear? This is because uh, the intake valves stay open in a moment that uh, 
they should be closed. And uh, what happens if I have flames and I have a detonation in the exhaust manifold? In the exhaust manifold. Okay, in the exhaust, the, in the exhaust manifold, uh, I suppose that I have gases coming out uh, because the exhaust valve open uh, during the exhaust, the struck exhaust. Okay, in that moment, only the exhaust valve should be open and uh, you have only gases. Uh, okay, but uh, what happened uh, in the moment of the explosion, once again, in the power struck, uh, if uh, the exhaust valves stay open a little? Exactly the same than in the previous uh, scenario. You have gases, you have flame, you have explosion coming out through the exhaust manifold. Because uh, in the mom in the in the struck, in that struck, uh, the exhaust valve stay open a little, and some flames, gases, detonation goes up. All right. Why you have that situation in your engine? Why you have a exhaust? Uh, 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 unwanted explosion, unwanted uh, uh, gases, uh, flames, uh, through the exhaust manifold and uh, through the intake manifold. Why you have that situation? Okay, basically because the valves stay open in the moment that uh, they should be closed. Oh, this is uh, interesting. And uh, this is basically because uh, the timing is affected. The timing is out. Uh, this is basically because uh, you have misfiring and uh, misfiring is produced for a lot of a lot of situations create misfiring. Later in other episode, we are going to analyze what happened. Why in my gasoline engine I have that situation? Why those valves stay open in the moment that they should be closed? Okay, because uh, you, the timing is affected, the timing is out. Okay, to finish this conversation about the intake manifold and the exhaust manifold, uh, we are going to analyze what type of pressure is in each uh, manifold. Uh, in the intake manifold, what do you think should be the pressure normally in normal conditions? Yes, it's suction, it's, it's negative pressure. Why? Because the intake manifold is connected with intake valves. When the intake valves open, the intake valves open only during the intake stroke is the moment where the piston is going down. Ah, this is why in the intake manifold you see suction, 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 suction because the intake manifold is connected with the intake valves and the intake valves only open, only open, only open, the rest of the strokes are closed during the intake stroke when the pistons are going down. This is why in the intake manifold you have suction, negative pressure, vacuum, suction. Okay, the exhaust manifold. The exhaust manifold always, always, always allow ex ex allow that the gases goes out. This is the exhaust manifold. Ah, you have a pressure coming out with gases, with the smoke, because the exhaust valve open during the, during the exhaust. This is the only moment that uh, the exhaust valve should be open during the exhaust. Ah, okay. The exhaust manifold is a high pressure, positive high pressure out, and the intake manifold is suction pressure, negative pressure coming in. This is why later in other episodes we are going to analyze the, the MAP sensor. This is the sensor that sends how much is the suction, the pressure in the intake manifold. And uh, you have another important sensor, is uh, the, the exhaust gas temperature sensor located in the elbow of the exhaust. The exhaust gas located in the exhaust manifold the map sensor located in the intake manifold. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this wonderful explanation about intake manifold, exhaust manifold. Uh, check my website, check my channels, buy the books, and uh, enter and uh, enroll in the courses to learn about this topic. Thank you.